This is the sea line of the city Ulsan, located southeast in South Korea. Quiet, calm, and clear salt water. There are diverse seaweeds and fishes, even several species of whales. Get these beautiful pebbles and rocks. Sea rocks are good places for seaweeds and selfishes to live in shallow water. These rocks may have been born more than several thousand million years ago, and they may have been incessantly smoothed by such everlasting strikes of beach combers and surfs. For such a long, long periods of time. Some rocks are split away from fold plains, shaping so ruggedly, a supply spaces for some stubborn wild horses. This city has seashores just near too, so people can easily frequent here and there whenever they like to visit during weekends or holidays. Very well organized forest parks also near. Then how about the inlands of this city? Diversified species of plants are waiting for visitors. Here you can often find spice trees when you walk along narrow meandering lanes in mountain parks here. After leaving this park, now I drove to a small town Namchang. Near this town, there is a famous village for pottery making. Finally, I got to a primary school where I was a student from grade 1 to 6. Here you can see this beautiful pine tree and aromatic juniper tree. It is said that they have existed here for more than 80 years. Across the school, there is a river where I used to swim in summertime. But time and tide made that water affluent river to look like this now. This is the center of the town, very small rural one, but this has a very long year's history. This train station has been built and begun to operate in 
Cycling is a good exercise. To wander along the bank of this river is a refreshment to take stresses out of your routine life. This river is always rich with water. Never dried ever because there are many mountains surrounding this city. Water comes from the many valleys all year round. More into this river park. Good trails wait for you to do jogging, working, or cycling. Ulsan is well known for a long stretching bed of bamboo tree. It lies along with the river and the bamboo woods is several kilometers long. This reservoir is originally built for irrigation, but now becomes good place for camping or fishing during seasons from spring to autumn. This is ripened persimmon fruits, one of the provincial nature signs, telling people that autumn is already with them. Yes, we are already in the season of autumn. All things in this rural area clearly tells that. Sky is blue and high without a speck of cloud and with crickets chirping. Beautiful Acer tree flora. This maple tree leaves become red and orange color in autumn. It is marvelous to see these leaves blending such warm colors with greenish tints still remaining partially on leaves and to watch them blow brightly on the chilly autumn daylight. Here is a medicinal plant, mugwort. Ulsan is the biggest industrial city in South Korea. There are many light and heavy mechanical chemical plants in there. But inconsistently, this city is surrounded by many tree-filled mountains so that in valleys and hills of them, farmers have to manage to live with almost day-long labors in their fields. Four Seasons Beauty offers a wide range of outdoor amusement and pleasure for this city people. However, the best season is autumn. Backward this hill, Many kinds of trees welcome you with their fantastic October color tones. But foliage is partially gone off as they got red and darkish yellow ones. Some trees are not mixing with these maple trees. This evergreen spindle tree is called on by a single horny bee as if he didn't notice the nature's change. This tall tree is Calopanax. Napakevich, reddish, gold mosetum, and butterbur. 
unknown species of wild weeds grow together freely under the October sun. Mountains are now welcoming colorful season changes. Some species deny it by showing up their beautiful berries. Persimmons become ripe when cold winds begin to blow from the north. These fruits can be cropped when they are half ripe. Farmers make them peeled and skewered one by one on a row and let them hang on a horizontal pillar of their houses to be exposed with dried air from autumn to winter season. This small hamlet, having a thousand-year-old ancient tower, is known for the entrance to beautiful Munsu mountain route. Some hog tree has its place in a hogway among the harsh community of bamboos. Many diverse species of trees and plants along this route welcome mountain climbers. There is a Munsu mountain over there. Recently, a new cement road is under construction, so that much part of lovely meandering trails in these woods has disappeared. Yet, trees still show up there being well, with healthy shapes. We are almost close to the base of the mountain now. Beautiful pine trees. and many young deciduous trees make this mountain a marvelous autumn color festival place.
This city Ulsan is still expanding little by little in size along with annual population increase. That faraway villages down there were non-existent less than 25 years ago. Industrially set up long years ago, but now more environmental friendly, the city has been favored by visitors than ever. Winter seems to be just around the corner in these narrow lanes in Namsan Park. I love all these seasonal gifts of nature. Fallen autumn leaves, quiet tray full of fresh air, and this emulatively challenging plant. <laughs> 